is 81 years old. Yes, yes. It's your boys, Mr. Z, Chaz Two Zs, KC in the building. It's the yes, Tech Talk yes. Show. Phaedra's on the line. Phaedra.com. F A Y D R A dot com. And she does mass consulting to just the government, and different agencies, and training, and all kind of fun stuff. <laughs> Ooh, I'm telling you, Phaedra, you're holding it down. I'm trying. Okay. And uh, one last question before we hop off. I guess uh, I was reading something on your articles about social media jobs in D.C. If you could kind of explain um, the trend with, uh, you know, social media jobs and how that's uh, coming about. Um, let's see. The trend now is to use social media for marketing. Mm-hmm. So gone are the days where small companies are trying to compete with huge companies to, um, you know, hire PR firms to help them get themselves out there in front of the public. Um, Social media is... Is the public. (laughs) Yeah. Social media is critical in small to medium business success. Um, And I say that because um, I actually did a... I did a little research to see, like, um, major companies like Procter & Gamble and Walmart and Coca-Cola and Pepsi to see what their social media strategies are. And they really don't have them. They may tweet and they may be on Facebook, but they're not really hitting social media as hard as those of us who are trying to see and be seen. Um, I'll give you an example of how social media has worked for me. I have a blog called My Question of the Day, Mm. and every weekday I ask a question, and they range from here, there, and everywhere. There's no set set, uh, category. Mm -hmm. When I started that blog, I started that blog in July of 2009, and I was getting about 21,000 hits a month. Uh, Now I'm up to 500,000 hits. Wow. And I have paid little to no money. I have use social media almost exclusively nice Um, and twitter it has probably been 95 percent of how i've gotten my content out to folks in the social media world wow so um and that has helped me get five columns on examiner.com um that has helped me to um get on your show (laughs) that has helped me you know go to different places and speak about social media um it is a consistent process. People think it's an overnight thing. It's not an overnight thing. It's right. just like search engine optimization. It well, doesn't happen overnight, but if you're consistent, you can... Build your following. Uh, yeah, you'll build a following. I'm actually number one on, on, on... I'm on page one of Google now. She's number one on everybody's list. Let's say what you <laughs> think trying. when I no longer I'm exist. Trying. Yeah. There you have it. <laughs> well, Phaedra, thank you for taking the time to come on to the Tech Talk Show. You are one of... You know, our reoccurring people that we're going to call in definitely, from time to time definitely. whenever we have any social media uh, related questions. And I guess before uh, we get off the air with you, if you could just give your website, an email address, if yeah. anybody want to contact you. Definitely. Okay, yeah, I'll just give Phaedra.com again. I said it, like I said, I set it up like an hour ago. It has my email, links to every place I am on the web, social media, blogs, websites, everything. F like Frank, A Y, D like David, R like Robert, A. Phaedra.com. There you have it. Thank you very much, Phaedra. Thank you, Phaedra. Thank you, thank you. All right. Take it easy. Take it easy. So now, of course, you know, moving into one of our favorites, we're going to, Joe, move right directly into the security sessions with securityorb.com. All right, everybody. Um, Last week, we had Alton Drew on the show, and he came and talked about white space. And the ruling was to occur last Thursday, and just like Alton Drew predicted on the show, that um, the white space would actually be passed and um, people will be able to use the white space for wireless networking. Right, right, right. And it's a good thing because one of the major things that we talked about, many underserving areas will now be able to have Internet access once this, once this is actually implemented. Right. But one of the things that we were looking at from a security point of view is currently right now with regular wireless systems, which only work in ranges of feet, usually have a lot of wireless access points that are not set up correctly. And people are able to access, you know, various wireless access points with feet being the maximum range. 
Now, once you start allowing these white space access routers where miles are now the range of these systems and people still not adopting proper uh, configuration access, what does uh-huh. that mean for privacy and security now? That's what I was thinking about before, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, how did, when you open that Pandora's box, exactly. then what happens, right? You know, so, you know, one of the things, you know, that's really going to need to occur is that these vendors need to create these new access point boxes with security already implemented and have the users roll back security. The current access points right now, there is no security, and the users have to actually implement various parts of the security aspect. Right, right, right. So if you could get the box to, you know, be purchased in a closed manner, you know, this would probably kind of help out with the overall access points, you know, and, of course, you know, awareness Mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So there you have it. You know, white space. White space is crazy. (laughs) (laughs) Put you in a bad space. You keep messing with it without security. I'm telling you, that's crazy. What else in security sessions? Uh, The only other thing that I wanted to talk about was, um, you know, just kind of reiterate the stuck neck that um, Chaz with two Z's brought up. Um, right, right, right. You know, this, crazy. Is, this is definitely a very serious malware. Mm-hmm. Um, unlike most malware that's created, it's created with a purpose of probably trying to steal money or trying to steal um, information. The stuck neck itself, the actual purpose of it is to take control of um, systems that control various power systems and various water systems. And there's even information um, that people are feeling that this application, this worm, was created to take over the Iranian nuclear plant, you know, because a lot of people are having problems, you know, with Iran having access to nuclear energy. And um, they felt like, you know, this was an actual application that was created to kind of knock them offline. So um, the Stuckneck is something that researchers from McAfee, uh, semantic is currently dissecting the program and you know a lot of these security researchers are seeing this program um, as you stated as one of the most sophisticated malware that, that was actually created so you think it's began by usb uh ports well um it started off basically the the worm was created and they needed a way to spread the worm right and they found out you know If you plug in a USB and it automatically runs, this is a particular way to actually push the worm. Right. And a lot of systems in the DOD um, network got infected using the USB um, devices with this particular worm. So it must have required some kind of social engineering to begin with to get it on the USB. No, not not really. I mean, you go to any little trade show, they're giving USB devices Uh, away. That's true. That's true. You know. That's true. So that's why about, you know, Maybe less than a year ago, DOD had an initiative to no USB devices on yeah. their machines. A lot of organizations yeah, are moving forward because that, yeah. of this particular worm, the way it was spreading and some right. other stuff. Okay. And um, so it's, it's a very serious worm. It's a very sophisticated. And a lot of the experts are looking at this code and they're saying that, you know, a lot of time, money, and sophistication was put into it. And that's why they feel like this was a state sponsored project. Right. Got it. Yeah. So that's all I have with the security all portion. Oh, well, thank you very much, KC. No if you problem. guys are interested in any other security issues, you can go to www.securityorb.com, uh, securityorb.com, and speak to our very own KC, mm-hmm. Kellup Charles, ladies and gentlemen. Let's move right on into the net buzz. Let's go ahead and get it popping on the line. We got our very own Twitter watching, top trends, friends. Firefox is in the building. Fox, are you on the line? Yes, I am. How are you? What's popping? What's hot on the net right now? Lots of things. I think, if anything, the message for this week is text messages and uh-huh. text pictures never, never, never die. <laughs> What's going on with that? Well, between the Eddie Long scandal, John Travolta, Ashton Kutcher, I think people need to stop playing with their phones, stop writing people messages, and just keep it on paper, if anything. You know, I saw that Eddie Long picture he had on that real tight red shirt. Looking yes, real, real different. Yeah, he should have just posted that on guys with that guys with iPhones um, <laughs> website because <laughs> it's it's really bad. I mean, there's been a fourth person to come forward now. Someone says that they have a tape that was um, taped on a cell phone. So 
this is not going to go away, and it's going to be bad. Well, the shirt was so tight, it looked like he was wearing the breastplate of tightness. It was just, <laughs> it was, he was struggling. It. What else is popping? Yeah. What else has happened? Well, you know, I mean, and we've all seen, you know, the, I mean, the technology. I mean, this, um, we've all seen the drama going on with Lindsay Lohan. You know, first she did the drunk texting of I'm sorry. Then she, you know, gets thrown in jail. And Oh, gosh. I mean, now, if anything, this chick has, like, the Teflon Don. Right, I right. I that John Gotti might have to let that one go because she's already out. 300K. Wow. Down, out. Are you serious? Yes. She's and out already? Grand bracelet again. So we'll wow. see what happens. I'm yeah. sure she'll be high in the next couple of hours, and you know we'll see what goes on with that. But I mean, technology is failing her, but she's getting through. Wow. Yeah. It was like three hundred thousand to get her out on yeah. bail or 300, something. Three hundred thousand to get her out. Wow. Ridiculous. But she was drunk texting, which is funny. So we talk about the advantages yeah. of tech of Twitter, mm. and now we have Apologies the disadvantages of, of Twitter. Of JD. I mean, like wow. how does that work? <laughs> You will get busted if you tweet about it. I'm telling you. Be careful what you're tweeting, people. What else is exactly. popping, Fox? Well, now we've got um, everyone's, you know, went crazy over the iPad, but now BlackBerry is coming out with their own called the BlackPad. Mm-hmm. It's um, scheduled for the holiday season, and it'll have um, BlackBerry capabilities. So that's, um, I guess they're trying to be the iPad killer. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but the iPad now has some competition, you know, nipping at their heels. Yeah. Wow. Well, so like we'll we said, see how that goes down. I mean, the only one thing, I guess, with um, BlackBerry, you wouldn't be locked into dealing with AT&T. It's not locked into any particular carrier. So that Ooh, might be that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, like we talked about last week, Google, you know, is also coming out with them. So everybody's trying to get on board by the time. You yeah. know, Christmas time comes around. Everybody's trying to get theirs in. Nice. Yeah, we the love it. We love computers it. computers really are the thing because, I mean, it's just convenient to do certain things, you know. You can't run around with a laptop. Tablets might work. And then also they want to compete with the, you know, the Amazon Kindle and the Nook. Right. A lot of people are using them to read books. I mean, because I live in New York City, so everybody's on wait, the Wait, wait, wait. I forgot Kindle. you're in New York City. You know who else is in New York City? Is Odeo <laughs> on the line? Odeo, are, are you in New York right now? Absolutely, I am. Absolutely, I am. Wow, where you at right now, man? In actuality, we're in New Jersey. We're over here at the New York Urban League Football Classic. And, you know, it's a party out in the parking lot. It's a party at the parking lot. We're going to look, listeners, 1 800 450 7876 after the break. Tune in. You're going to hear Odeo. You're going to hear Fox. You're going to hear KC, Chaz, two Zs. It's the world's most entertaining, innovative, informative technology show in the world. Let's go. 1450 WOL. Wherever.